Yellow Jackets, a record of 7-5, and five, coming off an 87-57 win over Kennesaw, taking on the Spartans, who have won three of their last four. We're in college basketball, and this might be his steepest project yet. Three-point try, rattles in and out, but Malik Moore soars in. USC Upstate's rebounding margin close to minus three, and that includes games in which they've won it mightily against Division II opponents. So easy lay in there for Nevin Zink, nice left hand. All-time leader in wins as a basketball player. Coach Jesse McMillan at Norcross High has had much, um, many accolades <laughs> around Atlanta. Yellow Jackets take a look at this move from Malik Moore to the corner. Alvarado tries to cut in the give and go, not there. Three on the shot clock, Alston pulls the trigger, buried it! Brandon Alston with the tray! Dickerson in his first season was awfully complimentary of both he and Dion Holmes as DeVoe slithers on into the paint and lays it in an easy bucket and the Yellow Jackets have their first lead of the evening. Freshman. Moore lets it go from three, short, rebound, gay. Spartans 0 for 5 from distance. Like you said, freshmen learn from watching the seniors and Malik Moore and Deion Holmes. There's Jose Alvarado, a sophomore, but getting it done on that possession in transition. Well, the message was clear during the break. Get to the rim in a hurry as six quick points coming out of the timeout. Just several games of the season before bowing out with an injury. Now he's been coming off the bench the last couple. Great ball movement here as Wells tries again from long distance, and this time he hits it. Well, there's no coincidence. What it's worth, he is two of two inside the arc. They scored 15 points in their loss at NC State, so definitely can step up in big games. Below the hash mark, Moore fires it inside, kicked back out and swung around a Holmes three-pointer. Nothing but net. Three-pointer from Dion Holmes, a senior from Chesney South. Dave Dickerson's got to be going to be feeling good about the performance so far of his young team on the road. They take the lead up two, and again, it's about momentum. Wood keeps the ball moving right, double team down low. Seven seconds to shoot. Shambori Phillips, yes! Bottom, Shambori Phillips. Over the Jackets. Upstate's doing a great job fronting the post. Moore, a tough three. Offensive board, Mazzo rejected by James Banks a second time. Bricks a three. Vo will slow and now restart <laughs> and lays it in. Great tempo by Michael DeVoe. Montverde, number one prep program in the country last year. Number one, that's winning pedigree, <laughs> winning DNA is what Josh Pastor is bringing into the program. And Deion Holmes with a nice roll over the rim. See the effort. Wings are getting out, running the lanes. Three point try, Evan Cole. Swish! Evan Cole. The Jackets. Georgia Tech looking to win back-to-back -back games for the first time since November. And this time, 50 career assists, puts it in the corner to Aldridge. His three won't fall, but the putback by Everett Hammond, freshman guard from Silver Spring, Maryland, come from their freshman. And it's really just a numbers game. They've got eight of them as Khalid Moore curling underneath the basket. Beautiful find. I'm entering this game as Brandon Martin takes it from the elbow down to the block. Well off target with that attempt off the high glass. But the senior Devin Holmes, a second chance bucket. I spoke with Mario West last night, director of player development for the Yellow Jackets. You know, had a great career here, had an NBA stint. Went from walk on to scholarship to NBA. Haywood's three. Meanwhile, the Spartans looking for an answer, and instead it's Curtis Haywood Jr. providing the spark, and he'll lay it in. Another quick two points. Let's see how hard he attacks here. Looking for DeVoe, feeds it to him at the rim and the finish. Beautiful find and a strong way to close out. They get it in down low to Moore. And if there's one thing he knows how to do, it is finish at the rim. Right now playing on a bum wheel. Well, and it speaks to how much trust Josh Passer has in Alvarado. Still wanting him to be out there running the offense. Nice tip in there by Nevin Zink. He oozes potential. 10 earlier in this period, but a 5-0 run. Just cut that deficit in half. Welch trying to add to it. Yes! Bottoms just the third three for Upstate tonight. Fucated down under. White coast to coast, and he's rejected near the rim. The freshman DeVoe pedaling the other way. He'll go with the left and finish. He's got a dozen. 
blame the referee. Sink having a nice night. Five points, six rebounds, but that was his third foul. And Evan Cole comes flying in. Gay going to work down low on Ryan. Nice pass to Evan Cole, the opposite block. Short corner jumper. Synced it. Nice work by Ross Ryan. Coming off a career-high performance, 10 points against Coker. A.D. Gay quickly the other way. Feeds it down low to DeVoe. Layup is good. And corrals the loose ball. Fed ahead to Cole. Spins and finds Gay. Nice touch. Redshirt senior. Nice move. Two 3,000-point scorers in South Carolina history. Three-point try, good. And that makes it 46 to 40, just over 11 minutes to play here in the second half. And give Evan Cole double figures. Abdullah Gay goes to work on the low block. He likes the hook shot, and for good reason. 25 from long distance this year, but great hands by Moore. He blew the dunk. Here comes Alvarado. Jackets have numbers. Moore on the other end, lays it home. What a swing. And a circus shot of 10 from Deion Holmes. We're officially off the rails here, playing a breakneck pace, and Alston cashes it in. 57-42. Holmes, an answer, yes. Boy, he can fill it up. And he loses control of it. Looks like a suicide practice running session right now. A bobble from Malik Moore, no problem. Alvarado. Phillips. Back to Alvarado, fearless, and this time able to finish despite a bum wheel. Three on the scale. So they got it down to ten, six and a half to go. Can the Spartans make one last run? Not on that attempt. James Bank, another block. And Evan Sink did a nice job on that, playing active. Welch takes aim, too strong, and it winds up in the hands of Michael DeVoe. He's got 14 points, tying his career high. On the other end, it's Khalid Moore. But the freshman will have better ones. As you said, shooting over 55% as a first-year player. They feed it to Banks underneath. He jams it home. James Banks. Combine that with the likes of Jose Alvarado, who saw plenty of minutes as a freshman before going down with a season-ending injury as Evan Cole continues to fill it up. He's got it. Uh, you're in good shape there. That's a, a nice core to build your program around. Two guys with winning DNA with a lot of ball skill and toughness. Haywood Jr. with the purest of strokes. Three-pointer off target. Get your first look at ACC play here at McCamish Pavilion on Saturday at 2 o'clock against Wake Forest. It'll be on the line on Saturday. Georgia Tech has won 12 consecutive home games against the Demon Deacons. That includes a vanquish as Evan Cole slams it home. A career night for Cole. He's now got a... Brandon Alston high off the glass and in. Balanced attack for Georgia Tech here on a Wednesday night. Christian Schoen on the floor for the final seconds. A play to the final whistle, and, and that's a credit to these coaches. Uh, Coach Dickerson, Coach Passner, really coaching effort as they try to build their respective programs. Alston now and with 10 points, finds a way to get to that 10-point mark and make his impact on the game. 79 to 63. The Jackets conclude non-conference play with an 8-5 record, taking down the Spartans of USC Upstate.